So, as promised, we're gonna use our math newfound mathematical knowledge and construct a cryptographic primitive, namely the finite field Diffie Hellman key exchange. So, the underlying problem is the Diffie Hellman problem. That is, given an element in G and the values of g to the power of x and g to the power of y, what is the value of g to the power of x, y? Now g is a generator in a finite field, if we talk about finite field diffie Hellman, and this is the discrete exponentiation, right? And in order to compute this value here, just by looking at those two values, we would need to compute the discrete logarithm of this value to get an exponent to be able to calculate that value. And the discrete logarithm, as we have seen, is computationally infeasible for large enough numbers. So, shouldn't be doable. And as long as this Diffie-Hellman problem stays hard, the finite field Diffie-Hellman key exchange is hard to solve, meaning that an attacker cannot break it. Like, we can reduce the Diffie-Hellman key exchange to this Diffie-Hellman problem. More about that in a later lecture. So what is this Diffie-Hellman protocol or this Diffie-Hellman key exchange? Well, imagine we have an insecure channel and communication partners want to exchange a key that they can then later use to agree on a key used for encryption. So what do they do? Well, party A generates randomly an exponent and keeps it secret. This is the secret exponent. And then calculate the exponentiation by taking the generator to the power of A. Now, this generator and this number p both take out of a pre-agreed-on pre standard. So, there's some standard out in the internet where p and g are standard standardized, so they both know what p and g is. Then a proceeds by sending the exponentiation, g to the power of a, to the other party. The other party does the same with a different exponent and sends its value to the party. So now, since they are each in possession of their secret exponent, they can take the public value of the communication partner, raise that to the power of their secret exponent, and they can both do this on both sides. And now they have agreed on a secret, that is, the generator to the power of a times b. So they have agreed on key material that only they know, because if an adversary has observed those two values here, they would need to first solve, first compute the discrete logarithm of one of those two values in order to be able to compute the key material. But since the discrete logarithm is infeasible to compute for them, they can't compute the key material. In a later lecture we'll see against what kind of attacker this, this actually protects. Well, it only protects against uh, passive adversaries, so, so only somebody who listens on the connection, not against somebody who can actually manipulate the connection. But we'll talk more about that in a later lecture when we come to protocols. So, that's actually everything that is to finite field diffie Hellman. So, here I've linked a public standard for finite field diffie Hellman fields. So, this is just the prime number that is being used, as you can see, it's quite long so the discrete logarithm problem stays infeasible to compute and here's a generator of this multiplicative group within the field that is 2. So that's all there is to finite field Diffie-Hellman 
and that's how it's being.